What's up, everyone? I'm Brian from Santiment. If you're watching this, you likely have at least a pretty good interest in cryptocurrency, the analytics behind it, what the data is showing at any given point, and you're looking for a way you may be able to get ahead of the crowd, make better decisions and informed decisions when it comes to trading. And we're going to tell you a bit about how we do so with our platform known as Santiment. What we really focus on is how to correctly identify where those tops and bottoms of market cycles are coming in using information from both the crowd as well as top key stakeholders, which you've likely heard us reference or others reference as whales or sharks. Our data really helps encompass the full picture of what the markets are doing at any given time and allowing you to really make the best decisions possible to improve your portfolio returns. Now, choosing entry points or exit points can be pretty tough. Many of you may actually think it's near impossible and you're at the whim of what those trader influencers might be telling you at any given point. Uh, there is certainly basis for following support lines or resistance lines, following what those expert traders out there are telling you because many of them may very well be legitimate trading experts. However, many are not trading experts and they're simply trying to use your volume or your capital to make more money for themselves. It's very common, especially in an industry that's very speculative like cryptocurrency still is more than 15 years after its infancy back in 2008. In this video, we'll go over how we identify where those bottom entries and top exit points really are how we use the world's leading on-chain metrics and world's leading sentiment metrics to identify where the best opportunities lie for either buying or selling at any given time for over 3,000 assets. We'll also go over the social trends tab, which gives an idea of where the trending topics are, which subjects are rising in popularity, therefore impacting the markets, and which coins specifically are trending and getting a much higher degree of social interest and conversations than they normally do and how that impacts the markets as well. Now, what we're looking at now is the main platform of Santiment known as Sandbase. This is where you can find the vast majority of front-facing tools that our traders and community members use to find those edges, get informed of what the biggest news stories are, get general market overviews, you can scroll down and you can see all sorts of key metrics such as social dominance here, which is the percentage of discussion pertaining to any given asset at any given point. You can easily switch between them. Here's Chainlink, for example, which is right now seeing a huge spike in social dominance due to its increased interest. Going down further, you can see some of our biggest articles, which explain some of the key templates that are used by our community to find profitable decisions. It's not that intimidating when you really dig into it. It gives you a full guide of everything you can ask for on Sandbase. And of course, it's simply a window to find more comprehensive data, depending on whether you're looking for on-chain metrics, social metrics, development activity, or anything else that we offer. If you open up the screener page here, you'll be met with this tab, which gives you an idea of which coins are seeing a high or low amount of social volume. In other words, the amount of overall discussions across social media for many of the top assets in crypto. You can also see the price changes over time. By default, you'll see them on a one day perspective. You can of course change them quickly to seven days or 30 days for either the social volume or the price change infographic. You can even toggle between changes in USD or Ethereum or even Bitcoin. And then going further down, you have infographics available to you such as the market cap trend on a seven day perspective or the volume trend on a seven day perspective. Going down even further, you can find a very handy table which by default will show you the project's name, the price, volume, market cap, as of now, the market cap rank, development activity per day over the past 30 days, the amount of active addresses per day 
over a 30-day perspective and what market segment that particular cryptocurrency is part of. And keep in mind, these are just the default categories you can look through. If I'd like to perhaps look at something more like, let's say, sentiment, which we have a popular metric known as weighted sentiment, which looks at the overall amount of mentions of a coin and then multiplies it using our algorithmic basis of what is considered a positive or negative comment on social media. We multiply all of those comments related to that coin together and we're left with a column to the very front of my new table and you can see it right here. A negative number, like most of these top assets have at the time of this recording, indicates that people are generally bearish toward top assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Tether. A positive number would indicate that people are actually somewhat bullish compared to usual. As you would imagine, you don't want the crowd to be bullish toward an asset that you are longing or investing in hoping the price will go up. You actually want to be against the crowd from our numerous backtestings showing that the direction of the markets more likely than not will go the opposite direction of the crowd's expectation and at a given time. Going up to the top, we also have this filter button where you can see our total amount of assets that we cover when no filters are selected equals 3,480 at the time of this recording. It's constantly climbing and moving up. And if we'd like, we can actually filter. Let's say we only want to look at assets with more than a $500 million market cap. I'll just type that in, hit enter, and suddenly we filtered for only 190 assets and this table becomes a bit thinner. We can filter even further and say, let's only look at assets with at least $100 million in trading volume. And that gets us down to 79 assets. So you can do this for all sorts of things. Market cap and volume are of course very basic metrics, but you can get advanced with it, look at network growth, look at crowd negativity, whale accumulation. And that segues us to our next point. And that is our comprehensive on-chain metrics that we have on whales or key stakeholders. In this case, one of the metrics or charts that I find most important would be this one, which reflects the amount of Bitcoin held by holders with at least 10 BTC in their wallets, highlighted in bright green right here. And then we have supply held by miners, highlighted in yellow. You can see as of right now, they're moving in opposite directions. It isn't just 10 plus BTC wallets that we are limited to look at. We can, of course, unmerge everything here and take a look at all sorts of different tiers. Let's say I'd like to look at specifically the percentage of the supply held by BTC wallets that have between 0.1 to 1 BTC in them. That will show you exactly the amount that they're accumulating. How about 1 to 10? There you go, it switches over. I can layer them together as well. And let's say I'd look at a lot of the mid to high range tiers, one really stands out, and that is the 100 to 1,000 BTC wallets, which are generally considered to be whales at the time of this recording, and they've been accumulating quite rapidly as of late. We can also, of course, switch to different assets without having to reset the chart. Let's take a look at something like Litecoin, where you can see many of these tiers have been going up in unison as of late. So the possibilities are pretty endless in terms of analyzing different tiers of different assets, we have thousands of different coins to choose from just in terms of whale accumulation and our full list of comprehensive metrics. We also have more limited data on non-ERC20 assets if you're interested in looking at volume, RSI, and of course our full array of sentiment-related metrics. If you're interested in following news stories and some of the highlights that we are finding on Santiment on a daily basis, look no further than our insights.santiment.net page here, where you can simply scroll down and see some of our recent 
discussion points, what we've highlighted in terms of things like most negative sentiment, which are generally considered to be some of the best buy opportunities in crypto. We talk about how some coins are trending. We can talk about things like whale activity. Again, this is using the data screener, which I just showed, to simply sort by which coins are seeing the biggest increase in whale activity over the past seven days. Oftentimes, this is a precursor to major volatility or a price direction indicator for any of the coins on this list here. We also talk about how there are several top points that we find using the ratio of positive versus negative sentiment at any given time. This is a custom metric that is made and available to all of Santiment's community. And there are so many different topics that we really cover on a daily basis that you'll find here on the insights page. And it'll give you a great idea of how you can use Santiment yourself effectively to find those profitable opportunities. As I mentioned, we also have pre-made templates that are made by staff members. I can go to this main template here and for XRP, for example, find how transaction volume on chain is looking over time. You can switch between daily, you can go weekly, sort the price a little more granular simply by zooming in. Let's look at the last month, switch to let's say two hour or four hour price changes. We can change the style as well, make this an area chart, make the price a line chart, hide the price and only look at transaction volume without any other distracting lines. The customization on these charts are very, very comprehensive and allow for a lot of flexibility depending on your style of analysis, what you wanna look at, how busy you want your charts to get. And of course, this is just one chart. Part of this template is that you can look at several different on-chain and social metrics. We have daily active addresses, which is the amount of unique addresses interacting on the network on a daily basis. Circulation, which is the amount of unique coins that have moved at least once on a daily basis. MVRV, which is a fantastic metric to get an idea of how in profit or in the red, other traders are over a period of time, such as 30 days, which is generally considered a, a good short-term indicator, or long-term, like the 365-day MVRV here. And looking at them both together, when they're both negative, you tend to see more likelihood of price rises. When they're both really high like this, you tend to see price tops like you did here back in late September. We of course have funding rate, which exchanges provide whale transactions. In this case, we're looking at $1 million or more transactions and the amount of them that are happening on a daily basis. Again, you can go more granular, look at whale transactions every eight hours, even one hour, or even five minutes if you really wanna get precise with your swing trading. We have metrics that are exclusive to sentiment, such as mean dollar invested age, which looks at the average age of all coins on the network and how long they've been sitting stagnantly in the same wallets. Generally, when we see dips, that's when prices go up. When you see big rises over time, prices tend to retrace or stall. So it's important for coins to be moving constantly throughout the network, creating larger utility over time. Network realized profit loss is another one exclusive to sentiment that many have gotten great alpha from. You can look at the supply on exchanges over time to see the net exchange flow balance, how many coins are actually moving on or off exchanges to be alerted before there's a big move or a big sell-off or potentially a big buy. And as mentioned before, we track the overall social volume of different coins so we can see when the subject of, in this case, XRP, is really starting to trend and get a lot of traction. This is very important because it shows when the crowd is typically getting FOMO, like it did back here in early August, or when it gets a lot of FUD, like it did in early October here. In both cases, you can see that prices tended to 
go down right after this first social volume spike and go up right after this second social volume spike, you can see that the timing of them correlate with either a recent up move, which indicates that there's a lot of FOMO, or a big down move, which indicates there's a lot of FUD. And we also have things like development activity, so you can actually see just how many GitHub events are occurring within the team on a given day. Overall, you'll see most coins that are rising to the top of cryptocurrencies market cap leaders are seeing an increasing amount of development activity over time. That's not a coincidence. Those coins and the coders behind them that are working the hardest to innovate and improve are the ones that typically get rewarded with more investors and rising market caps over time. So the amount of charts that you can really explore on Sandbase are almost infinite when it comes down to different combined metrics, types of coins you can use, different time intervals, chart types, etc. And we're more than happy to walk you through them if you reach out to us and we'll give you a, a full comprehensive breakdown of how our community uses it effectively. Now, moving on to our social trends dashboard, we have many, many different keywords here that you can browse through that are trending on any given day. On the current day here, we see keywords like market insights or ETH or trading or expected. Some of these are pretty vague, but oftentimes you'll see something more political like Trump or Harris or um, Italy, which recently had a big uh, proposed tax increase in capital gains for crypto. So these are the kinds of things that will pop up on this trending words countdown as a topic you should be paying attention to because more often than not, they're driving markets in some way and skewing traders' interests, therefore their capital, towards something that revolve around these subjects. Similarly, if we go to the trending coins page here, we can see which assets are getting an increasing amount of discussion related to them, whether it's due to a big price pump, some news, a big partnership they may have just announced. Something like that might be something that is causing the asset to get an increased amount of attention. And oftentimes it marks a, a key moment where the coin is about to pump or potentially about to correct, whether it's good or bad news and how the crowd is reacting to it. Now, we've done back studies that have proven that when coins are pumping at a very rapid rate, such as Solana, right now, we'll often see the fact that it's trending as a marker of a top being imminent. This is because traders often get FOMO at these moments, especially if a coin is breaking out and outperforming the rest of the markets by a significant amount. FOMO ends up making those retail traders or those novice traders buy at the tops and then get punished by those whales and sharks who are taking profit during these big opportunities to cash in while the price of their asset is at a premium and being pushed up by those smaller traders. On the other end of the spectrum, you can see Chainlink right below it going through kind of a correction over the past couple of days as indicated by this red line. And oftentimes if it's trending, it's due to people not believing in the asset, potentially selling during a dump or a, a drop in price. And if you were to be a contrarian and buy, you'd be doing so at a much less risky time than usual. So there are many different ways you can use this trending coins dashboard. And as I mentioned, there are often news stories that may be kind of cryptocurrency adjacent, but not perfectly aligned with crypto, such as the US political race between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And you can compare how often each candidate is being mentioned on social media. Maybe you have a bias toward one candidate yourself. You believe one might be more pro-crypto or more anti-crypto. And something like this can be a key chart for you to reference for when prices may be foreshadowing a pump or a dump in the near future.
We've also got all sorts of custom dashboards, such as our ETF volume and inflow slash outflow dashboard here. This lets you take a look at what's going on on the ETF side of things, how much volume is coming in, look at individual volumes, or perhaps individual inflows and outflows for different ETFs to see which ones are getting fresh injections of capital or losing capital at an increased rate. You can also check out our awesome Whale Watcher dashboard, which specifically looks at the amount of centralized exchange deposits coming in from any given asset. What are the biggest deposits out there at any given time? How much of the entire market cap was moved in that specific transfer? Who deposited it? What type of whale was it? Which exchange did it go to? It's all right here. You can filter by different coins and it's an amazing resource to find where specifically a lot of tops are coming in because when coins are moving to exchanges, it's more often than not a sign that a large key stakeholder is getting ready to sell off a significant amount of capital. And we also have great models available on Google Sheets using the Santiment API through a plugin known as Sandsheets. And Sandsheets allows us who work at Santiment or you, a community member of Santiment, to get a hold of Santiment's data, put it into a table, organize it any way you like, and make models such as this, which is a heat map of how hot or cold a network is getting at any given time. You can find assets like ApeCoin right now, which are seeing lots of increasing network activity, indicating upcoming price volatility. You can also look at the leaderboard and find which assets over here are the most active in terms of its network activity versus its normal resting average. This is huge because it lets you quickly identify where the money is moving, where the network activity is likely to cause a pivot in key prices. So if you're into altcoins and swing trading from one to another, this is the kind of model that's perfect for you. Keep in mind, this is all just the tip of the iceberg of what Santiment offers. We have so many different indicators and charts and news stories coming out that can help you with your trading and investing decisions. Our goal is to really help you make more informed decisions about how to trade and how to invest. And we do it with the utmost integrity. Being unbiased in our analysis is extremely important to us. And our goal, in essence, is simply to help cut through the noise and see what is really going on in cryptocurrency. So if you like what you see here and you'd like to learn more, feel free to just subscribe to this channel for starters. We do weekly live streams where we talk about the state of the markets, where the bullish and bearish divergences are looking, and we hope to see you there. Feel free to ask us questions so we can address which coins or which subjects you might have your eye on, and we love to talk to our community live. And also feel free to open up a free trial. Simply go to our pricing page, enter in your email that you'd like to sign up with. You get two weeks free to explore everything that Santiment has to offer. If you don't like it, you simply leave the trial. If you do, you can become a Santiment member along with the tens of thousands of people who use Santiment on a daily basis. We hope to hear from you. Appreciate the watch, guys. Talk to you soon.